up guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be the look that I'm wearing right now when I was in LA um, the Friday night it was the Ipsy OS cocktail party VIP party whatever you want to call it and I had absolutely no idea what I was doing for my makeup I was thinking about it I was thinking about it all day so and so blah blah um, I actually bought the Samantha lashes by Blinking View in the Morphe store that Friday morning and I was like oh my god I've been dying for these lashes but I just have no patience when it comes to like waiting for something that you really want in the mail so I just I don't even bother if you guys saw my LA um, my LA vlog you guys know as soon as I saw them I threw them in my cart <laughs> I pretty much based the look that I wore that night around my lashes because they get like shorter to long so I kind of wanted that like elongated look and I came up with this I'm pretty impressed by it I was obsessed with it I was like oh. I honestly love the way that this came out and I really did want to film a tutorial with you for you I do have to say I do have to say while I was in LA I did not wear this lip this is Ofra's Bel Air liquid lipstick when I was in LA the lip that I wore with it is this bad boy this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade trust issues I'll swatch it for you so you guys can see this is the lip that I wore with it so like you guys can kind of tell this is the look that I wore with it I like it but I wanted to keep it pretty neutral today so I went with a nude lip. I am absolutely obsessed with this look so, so, so much. It's probably like my favorite look that I've done so far. But yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just apply that with a Crown C457 Round Blender. So while I was so while I was in LA, I did only bring my Z palette. So yeah, we're gonna use my bad boy, all makeup geek. I'm sorry, but they're affordable, so it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and set my base with Makeup Geek's White Lies. I'm just gonna go ahead and take Peach Smoothie on a Mac 217 and start blending that in my crease. Next, I'm going to grab creme brulee and I'm going to take a, this is a Luxie 235. I'm going to grab creme brulee. I'm going to grab creme brulee on that. Pretty much just put it in the exact same spot. This is a Crown C433. I love this brush so much. It's very similar to a Morphe M433 and a MAC 217, but it's more... It's like flat but like blendable at the same time so it gets like right in there. I'm going to go ahead and grab Frappe and I'm going to mix Cocoa Bear with it as well. Just a little bit. I'm just going to, I'm not going to bring that so far in. I'm just going to stick with that on my outer corner. Starting to create that like outer V shape your MAC 217 and just blend it out. You don't have to pick up product, but if you want to, by all means, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and grab Bitten on... I'm going to go ahead and grab Bitten on a Morphe E17 and kind of put that right on top of where I put that Cocoa Bear. Pull it very lightly because I want to build this shade up. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the Luxie brush that we used earlier. Do you hear this wind right now? I'm grabbing a little bit of, again, Makeup Geek's Cherry Cola. It's all about blending, so I have a lot of different sh tones of each kind of shade that I want. I'm going to take Cherry Cola and just put that in the outer... V area with a Morphe M431. So I'm going to grab two browns. I'm going to grab again by Makeup Geek Mocha and Americano. And I'm going to build it up with that same Morphe 
with that same Morphe M431. This is a pretty good dupe for a MAC 219. And again, in that outer corner area. And just lightly blend it out. Now I'll throw that. You could keep it semi-dark on the lid, and then when we add the winged liner and the lashes, I always end up going in with more darker colors when I put the lashes on, just for a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to grab the shade Roulette again by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to grab the cutest brush ever, Morphe M. This is a Morphe E39 and the shade Roulette by Makeup Geek. So pretty. And I'm only putting this in like the center for now. For the inner part of the eye, we're going to grab Makeup Geek's Prism Dual Chrome Pigment. It is so, so stunning. I didn't think I was going to like the way this looks, but with that Roulette shade, you're going to see how amazing it is. I'm just going to dampen my brush, a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, really, really pack that product in the brush, and we're going to pat it. This pigment is so pretty on top of that um, roulette shade by Makeup Geek. Go ahead and just blend it out a little bit in the crease. Oh my god, so pretty. I'm going to grab my Inglot Gel Liner number 77, and I'm actually going to try out this Luxie brush. This is a Luxie 215 small angle brush. It looks really nice. It's got a really nice angle to it, so let's go ahead and try it. Do not worry if you're doing this freehand and you mess up and you bring it too far out or anything like that. We don't have any face stuff on, so you can go ahead and clean that up easily. You can clean it up with concealer. Don't be hard on yourself. So I'm going to grab that on my Luxie brush. I'm going to start really close to my lash line. I'm going to stop about halfway with the brush, and then for the inner part, we'll go in with a uh, liquid liner. Go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and use the new Smashbox one. This is the Smashbox the Smashbox x-rated mascara. I'm not too sure how I'm going to like this because I hate this wand. Do you see that? I'm not, I'm not a fan of the wand, but let's give it a try. For lashes, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Blinking Butte Lashes in the style Samantha. Okay guys, so this is the finished look with the lashes and liner on already. I just want to let you guys know that I am going to add a little bit more brown in the outer portion of my outer corner because I want it to be like super dark and intense. So I bought this brush at Morphe and I think it's absolutely perfect if I can find it. I think it's absolutely adorable, first of all. It's so cute. It's like the tiniest pencil brush I think I've ever seen. This is a Morphe E36. It looks just like that, and it is perfect for getting right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab Americano again. And I'm just going to put that in literally like the outest part. The outest part. <laughs> But we're going to go on to the face now, so I'm just going to make sure my hands are clean because we all know the struggle with liner, so <laughs> pretty sure it was all over my hands. And I'm just going to wipe just underneath the eye area because I did have some fallout with the duochrome pigment. So, so just to start off, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the Tatcha, with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Oh, 
I love it so, 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 so much. I'm going to go in with like an OB, but a goodie. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. I'm going to go ahead and take like a little like pea size of it. Because I stopped using this because it kind of just like balled off my skin. But I'm going to use that right in my problem area. And literally use like the slightest bit of it. Push it in. Go on the nose a little bit. For foundation, when I was in LA, I only brought the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick with me. And it was fine. I was cool with it. But I'm pretty dry right now because I don't feel good and everything like that. And it's pretty good with dry skin, but I just don't want it to cling to anything. So... I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, the liquid. I'm going to put a pumper three in the back of my hand, damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to start blending it in. I find that this foundation is best when applied with a damp beauty blender. I'm pretty sure um, at Generation Beauty, they the Makeup Forever artists that were at the Makeup Forever booth were saying like apply this with a damp beauty blender it was literally like made to be blended in your skin with a beauty blender because beauty blenders literally just like took over excess product I'm dragging down my neck my usual Urban Decay Naked Skin this is the shade in light neutral if we have to fix our wing we will and cover this redness as much as possible and blend I feel like a lot of people use this side don't use this side actually I feel like a lot of people don't use it I don't know why I love this side um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Milani prep set and go translucent face powder I used this in my drugstore video and I really, really like it. There was no flashback in it in the camera. Like, in, there was no flashback in the pictures or until ever. Um, I didn't notice anyway. Watch today. I'll take all my pictures and I'll have like a white cast over my face. I also set the rest of my face with this yesterday. And I didn't, like I set like this area because I'm constantly touching like the lower half of my face. So I set that and I also set my neck and I didn't notice anything. For bronzer, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to use the um, Too Faced Chocolate so Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is chocolate. It says medium deep. It doesn't say milk chocolate. I made that up. Oh, it smells so good. I haven't used this in so long. I used to use this to contour, but... Now I use it to bronze. I'm gonna contour a little bit. It's my dog. We're gonna contour a little bit. Benefit Hula and Amorphe M523. I feel like this is just like perfect for contouring. For blush, I'm actually going to grab this one from Essence. I've been really, really liking this. It's really, really pretty. It's called the Silky Touch Blush. This is in the shade 20 Baby Doll. It's so pretty. It's got like a nice set and finish to it. So it's got like a nice like sheen. And it's so pretty. It's like your cheek color but better. It's just, it literally gives you like the Baby Doll cheeks that you want. For highlight, I'm going in with Becca's Champagne Pop. going to bathe in this oh do you see that I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Americano on this Luxie 221 brush and I'm gonna push that really up against my lash line I'm liking these Luxie brushes I'm going to go ahead and grab that cutesy old Morphe brush. 
blend that out with a little bit of frappe. That you could totally add some um, liner on the waterline. I'm not going to. And I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. For the lips, I'm going to keep it super neutral. So I'm going to grab the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And um, this is in the shade Bel Air. I'm going to line my lips with the Tartiste, um, the Tartist Lip Liner in Boho. My dog's like knocked out on my bed. Once you're done with that, go ahead and spritz yourself with a couple of sprays of the Urban Decay Setting Spray. This is the all-nighter. I prefer the chill one, but my Sephora was out, so I got the all-nighter one. Um, this is a completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe so you guys can get notified when I upload more videos. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye.